Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for chapter for grade 4, chapter 14, lesson 2. Draw parallel and perpendicular lines. Page number is 879. Okay. Uh, before starting today's lesson, guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay. Uh, let us start today's lesson. What are parallel and perpendicular lines? We have three things today. There is another one, uh, intersecting lines. So we will learn three things, parallel, perpendicular, and intersecting lines. Okay. Let us start with the parallel first. You can describe lines. In the last lesson, you guys took lines, rays, and uh, line segments. Okay, so you can describe lines, rays, and line segments by the way they cross each other or they don't cross each other. Let us take the first example here. You guys see these two are line segments. Okay, because no arrows. So these two are line segment and are they crossing each other? No. They keep a same distance between them. So they're not crossing each other. When two lines or rays or line segments, they don't cross each other, they are known as parallel. So parallel lines are always the same distance apart. You can see they keep the same distance between them at any point. Okay. They do not meet or cross each other. So they will never meet and they will never cross each other. So whenever you see two lines don't cross each other, these are what? Parallel lines. Okay, how we represent them? Look at this, guys. These two lines, you can see this is line AB, symbol of line, small symbol of line with two arrows, AB. And this one is line CD small symbol of line with CD and this sign the symbol with small two lines means parallel so whenever we say that two lines are parallel we say in this way line AB is parallel to line CD this is the way we write okay let us move the next part we have two more things here. The first one intersecting and the second one perpendicular. Okay. Uh, the first thing about parallel, we saw that lines are not crossing each other. But now here, the lines are going to cross each other. So, when two lines cross each other, we call them intersecting lines. So, we write line AB intersects. This is line AB intersects you see they're crossing each other c line cd or this is the other way to write a small symbol of line line ab intersects line cd okay now you have to understand the difference between intersecting and perpendicular lines okay you guys can see that here these two lines they are also crossing each other but they're crossing each other in a straight way and they're forming a square here lines that meet or cross each other to form square corner you can see that here these two lines are forming a square you can draw a square here also this side also and this side also okay so when two lines cross each other and they form a square at the intersecting point we call them these two lines are perpendicular line actually it's a 90 degree angle guys right? they're crossing each other at 90 degree okay uh, but you guys didn't took that till now so I'm telling you in this way that they are forming a square at the intersecting point and here these two lines you cannot form a square here right square okay so when they don't form a square when they intersect each other we call them intersecting lines line a b intersects c d and when they form a square we call them perpendicular the same way of writing a small symbol of line a b 
this is the sign of perpendicular the opposite t okay so this symbol this one means perpendicular and the symbol this one you see this one means square corner so here they are forming a square corner okay <clears throat> And these two lines are perpendicular to each other. This is the way of writing uh, perpendicular lines. And this is the way of writing intersecting lines. And for parallel, I told you, you will draw two small lines. I hope you understand. Let us start solving the lesson now. Example two. You can see this one is a line segment, no arrows, CD. And this one is a ray. Uh, arrow only on one side so we will say line segment CD intersects it's not perpendicular boys it's not forming a square okay intersecting ray a B here they write it ray a B and line segment CD are intersecting okay this one now, these two lines, they are what? They are not crossing each other, so they are parallel. Let us move to the next page. Okay, here again. Line segment LM and ray JK. They are intersecting. They are not forming a square, so they are not perpendicular. These two lines, parallel. We W the first one and line X Y the second one. Okay, let us move down here. They want us to draw now a line D E. So we will draw a line with two arrows D E, and we have to make parallel so no crossing. Line F G with two arrows. Okay, line R S line R S intersects. They didn't set. Uh, perpendicular so we, we can intersect at any point okay T U line T U okay now line N O line N O is perpendicular this sign is showing perpendicular so we have to cross by forming a small square at an angle of 90 degree okay with the protector with the d shape protector you can check it also that it is exactly 90 degree whenever any line crossing the other line uh, perpendicular actually it's forming a 90 degree angle or you can say forming a square corner okay so that's why it's perpendicular uh, line pq here a small line without arrows so it is a line segment jk so we will draw a line segment jk parallel to ray LM, parallel to ray MLM. Okay, circle the statement that is true about the figure. Line AB is parallel to ray EF. Line AB, ray EF. No, they are intersecting each other at E. This is wrong. Line AB is perpendicular to line CD. AB and CD, yes. They are perpendicular while intersecting they form a square okay line cd is parallel to r ray ef line cd and ef no it's wrong the other one is also wrong let's move to the next page uh, identify two streets that appear to be parallel to the Washington Avenue so this is the Washington Avenue we can see that Hayes Avenue and Jefferson Avenue Jefferson Street they both are parallel to Washington Avenue uh, tell whether Hayes Avenue and Capitol Lane appear to be parallel intersecting okay where's the first one Hayes Avenue this one and the second one Capitol Lane this one yes they are perpendicular to each other okay here we write it are there any street that are intersecting yes there are these points the Jefferson Street and the other one its name is uh, I think major mayor streets mayor street mayor street and Jefferson Street they're intersecting 
आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड